Hello and welcome to Escape to the Country, not really. This is Feature Car of the Month and today we are with Sam from Sam's Detailing and looking at his awesome RWB 964 Porsche. This car, how did it all come about? Uh, why did you want an RWB? How, did, how, how does the process work of calling up Mr. Nakisan? So basically, I got the I got the stock 964, so it's a 1991 964, yep. and I got the stock car back in like 2018, early 2018. And I was on YouTube, and as you do, related videos came up, and there was an RWB video, and I was like, what's this? Watched it and I was literally hooked. From then on, I literally watched every single RWB video and I was like, well, this is just amazing. It makes my stock car look rubbish. I really want this. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, I need to get one of these kits and get it fitted. So yeah, I was like super, super lucky that I managed to get one. And uh, even more lucky that Nakai came two, three months ago to Sheffield and literally made me my own RWB rock climber. An RWB to be an authentic RWB has to be fitted by the man himself, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. So he, he flew all the way over from Japan, uh, come to your shop, and then how long did it take him to actually do that conversion? One and a half days is what it took him to actually cut the arches and fit the entire kit and have it all ready to go. So he, he ships the kit beforehand, you paint it, you get everything ready, and then he comes to the airport, you pick him up, bring him to the car, one and a half days, boom. And he just comes with literally a suitcase, what did you say? He literally, literally turns up with an air saw yeah. and a little sander, and he's like, have you got a compressor? Yep, off he goes. That's literally all he turns up with. Wow. And does he cut into the bodywork? Obviously, to fit these wheels of the uh, over fenders, he has to cut away at the uh, arches. And he literally, yeah, does that on the fly by eye. Eyes all up. Boom. Bolts on the arches. Fits the body kit. What a man. <laughs> so talk about the modifications themselves. Yeah. You've obviously got the RWB kit. Um, should we start with the side of the car? So you've got those massive arches. Yep. And then under those arches, you have some Brixton forged wheels. That's right. Uh, I believe they're CMS 16, CM 16 they're called. Yeah. So uh, matte black, firecracker matte black centers with uh, copper rims, uh, copper dishes. On the rear, they're 13J. Yeah. And then on the front, they're 10.5J. Big, big wheels uh, on what is a very small chassis. And stock brakes behind there, but then the suspension. Suspension, so it's got, uh, it's on air suspension at the moment. When it was a stock car, and I wasn't really sure when the RWB build was gonna happen, I decided to fit some air suspension and some BBS rims. And then I was like, I'll go back to coilovers when the RWB build happens. But at the moment, it's still on that air suspension. Well, it's a good job we, we were on the air suspension earlier down those sort of D roads we went, didn't we? Yeah, I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> so then moving around to the front of the car, you've got the massive sun drip front bumper. Anything else on the front? It's just a, a wider front bumper, so it meets some canards. Uh, that, that is also part of the RWB kit. Then the front, wider front arches meets the bumper. Then you go along the side skirts, which are wider than stock, to meet the rear arches. And then you've got the rear bumper to meet the rear arches, which is wider as well. And then we've got the special GT2 wing. So, so Nakai actually offers like a few different wing options for a 964. You can have the ducktail style, which is a lot smaller. Yep. Uh, makes the car look a bit more hench. Or you can have like the big, big, big GT2 wing. Or you can also have a double stacked wing, I think, or triple stacked wing, he calls it. I'm not sure what the official RWB term for it, but it's even bigger and even more <laughs> ridiculous. Because that, yeah. that is a pretty ridiculous wing, <laughs> but very cool. And then obviously under that wing, it's hiding the engine. And I think you mentioned it's been bored because they're originally 3.6s, aren't they? But you yeah. think it's been bored to a 3.8. 3.8, that's right, yeah, yeah. Um, I have like an old invoice, but the registration is slightly wrong, but I'm not sure if that's a typo. Yeah. I'm not sure if it relates to that specific engine. I assume it does, or I'm pretty sure it does. But yeah, if it is true, it's been bored out to a 3.8 from its stock 3.6. And alongside that, it's got a little uh, performance chip uh, added to it for a little bit of extra. And a very loud exhaust. So yeah. And uh, you say that turned up the same time as yeah, literally Nakai did? UPS delivered it on the morning of Nakai turning up at Manchester Airport. So I literally had to rush and fit that because it had to be a twin outlet to fit the rear bump on. Uh, the RWB because the stock was just a single outlet so I had to get that bat box on so uh, the guy could fit the rear bumper and line it all up properly but yeah we got really really lucky with the timing on the inside I think I can spot a Momo steering wheel 
Yep. And then apart from that, it's pretty, pretty stock. Pretty standard, yeah. Apart from some blokes graffitied the dash, I see. As soon as Nakai finishes the build, like the final signature move, is to sign the dashboard with either the person's name or the number it is, like RWB number two, number three, number four. And another one of his traits is naming the car, isn't it? Yeah. But in this circumstance, apparently you named the car. Yeah, I was like, well, I've had the kit for four years, sat in my warehouse, and I was like, that gave me plenty of time of what I want to call the car. And I was like, Nakai, hold up. I'm doing the name. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, my favorite band and Weiler, what Weiler Black and Gold, it just kind of suits it really well. And uh, it being named after my band. It sounds like he named it himself because this is the kind of thing he goes for, isn't it? Like the old Stella Artois, a famous yeah, exactly. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a few others out there. Brilliant. Well, now we've seen the car. Do you mind taking me for a little spin? Let's do it. How does it drive? Uh, honestly, after the after the build, I've noticed it drives a lot flatter and a lot smoother. It like soaks up all the imperfections a lot nicer. When it was stock, it was a lot more twitchy and a bit more bouncy. But this is a lot firmer, but planted as well. So it's a lot nicer through the corners. But at the same time, you've got what? Three, three, five, 35 80s on the back. Yeah. So it's like on a tiny little Porsche. So you'd expect it, wouldn't you? And the thing that I love about you and this car is that you can tell that you use it and it's not just parked up and that is the real world way, isn't it? Um, yeah. He likes to see his cars used and they'll, they all come from the racetrack and that's where it all stemmed from. I love everything about it and of course, you know, every day I feel like driving it because it's my dream car and I'm like, why would I not want to drive it as much as possible? What is Naki San like? Honestly, so, just yeah. the most normal person you could ever be, like, just a normal geezer just cracking on day-to-day -day doing what he needs to do. He's like, yeah, I'll do that, yeah, let me fit that, yeah, not a problem. Got this issue? Never mind, doesn't matter. I'll sort it out. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever phases him, and he's like, whatever it is, you'll just crack on and do it. And he does it all by eye, what you said, and he also puts that stem in, doesn't he? Or the seal. He cuts it, fits the body kit all by eye, and then literally seam seals the edges but with his finger, tapes it up and literally within two, three minutes he can do the entire car. Yeah, he does it's, it and it's really well, really well finished. I might have to call him in to do my bathroom sink because that, <laughs> that needs a bit of sealant doing. And how many RWBs do you, are in the country at the minute, in the UK? For, that he's built, he's built yeah. four in the UK. Right, so it's still quite a rare beast over here. Yeah, yeah, compared to like other countries, yeah. Poland has got, I think, nine. Thailand's got a lot. I think Thailand's got like 15 or something. Oh, okay. Um, Common as muck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Indonesia's got quite a few. But yeah, yeah. Well, well thanks for that, uh, Sam. Now I've got a long journey home. I know you're not too far from here. <laughs> but there's only one last thing for to do, and that's for me to sign the Dash 2. Hey, stop that. What do you mean? <laughs>